O President Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and peace be upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, my brothers and my sisters, here we are on the 27th night of the month of Ramadan and we all know what's this night. This night is most likely to be the night of Laylatul Qadr which is equivalent to 1000 months of your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Anzalnaw fi Laylatul Qadr wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr, Laylatul Qadr khayru min al fishar. Indeed, we had revealed the Quran Kareem on the night of Qadr. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks a rhetorical question, and what do you know about Laylatul Qadr? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers and He says, it is better than 1,000 months. What you do tonight is equivalent to 83 years of your life. That's a duration that you might not even experience. That's a duration that you might not even live. 1,000 months. What you do tonight, if tonight is Laylatul Qadr, and most likely it is bi Ta'ala, because there's nothing definite that says it is on the 27th night except some indications from the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is a night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to say, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ الْأَمْرِ This is a night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the angels, including angel Jibreel, the ruh, descends on this night that will cover the horizon of this world. سَلَامٌ هِيَ حَتَّى مَطْلَعِ الْفَجْرِ It is peaceful until the break of dawn. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gives us some indications of this night. And he says that the weather of this night, the temperature wouldn't be too cold and wouldn't be too hot. And at the same time, he says alayhi salatu wa salam on this night, it is so peaceful, so quiet, so tranquil. And these are the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that indicate on the Laylatul Qadr, on the night of Qadr. And there's also after Laylatul Qadr, which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam speaks about, that you look at a beamless sun, you look at a, white or a red sun as another narration, red sun, and you could look at the sun itself. Usually when you look at the sun, it becomes very hard for you to look at. But then that night that comes before that sunrise, in which the sunrise that comes after Laylatul Qadr, you could look at the sun. But beside all this, then just connect yourself to those indications. And what the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ had mentioned of the signs of Laylatul Qadr. But what you really need to look at is your heart and your connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you really want to know when is Laylatul Qadr, look at your connection between you and Allah Azza wa Jal. It all goes back to how connected you are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are very connected to Allah, then it becomes a lot more easier for you to know when is Laylatul Qadr. You'll feel it. You'll sense it. You'll have that feeling. You'll have that sentiment. You know what? Tonight is Laylatul Qadr. Tonight is equivalent to a thousand months. Tonight is the night that the angels descend down. Tonight is the night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna anzalnahu fi laylatin mubaraka. Indeed, that we had revealed the Quran Kareem on a blessed night. You feel the blessings of this night. Fiha yufraqu kullu amrin hakim. This night is the night that Allah decrees everything upon mankind. Allah decrees tonight your sustenance and provisions for the next year. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also decrees upon those who will continue living from now to the following year. And maybe some of us tonight, Allah will decree they wouldn't be here next year. Some of us tonight, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will decree they're not going to be here next year. That's why we need to make the most out of tonight and make the most out of this month. And what's left from this month to the end of the month. And what are you going to be pl planning and preparing for what's after the month of Ramadan. That, that should be our concern. That should be our concern, concerned about what I'm going to make out of tonight and what am I planning and preparing for what's after the month of Ramadan. My brothers and my sisters, tonight insha'Allah is Laylatul Qadr by the will of Allah Azza wa Jal. Tonight is a night that we revive it in the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal, praying to Allah, reading the Quran Kareem, remembering Allah, and most importantly making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam says, Man qama Laylatul Qadr imanan wa ihtisaban ghufra lahu ma taqaddama min dhanbih. Whoever revives the night of Qadr sincerely for the sake of Allah, awaiting the rewards from Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal forgive their previous sins. So revive tonight in the worship of Allah, in the remembrance of Allah, in reciting the Quran Kareem, in saying what's right, in doing what's right. Revive tonight in the worship of Allah. So Allah Azza wa Jal, so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will declare you to be from amongst those they had forgiven. That's your aim by the end of the night. By the end of the night, before Fajr, you want Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to look at you and say, "Oh my servant, tonight I had forgiven you." That's it. You are forgiven. You are from amongst those that had forgiven. 
You are from amongst us, the Aypar. And that's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was asked by his wife Aisha, what's the best supplication to supplicate to Allah during this night? He said, Allahumma innaka afu wa tuhibbul afa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are the forgiving one, you are the pardoning one. And you love pardoning, you love forgiving. Therefore, forgive me, O oh Allah. Allahumma innaka afu wa tuhibbul afa fa'afu anni. This is the dua of tonight. Out of all ad'iyah, out of all supplications, this is the dua that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to make tonight. Allahumma innaka afu wa tuhibbul afa fa'afu anni, O Allah. You are the forgiving one. You are the forgiver that forgives and loves forgiving. Therefore, forgive me. I want you to forgive me and I want you to be, to make me from amongst those that forgive and have forgiveness upon by the end of this night. My brothers and my sisters, ask Allah Azza wa to accept your worship tonight to make us from amongst those that listen here and act upon what they listen here and revive this night in the worship of Allah.